We're live. At this time, will all sergeants please start their recordings? Computer recorder rolling. According to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing on the vote on governmental operations. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrant or, sil or silent mode. Thank you, Chair. We are ready to begin. Thank you so much. Good morning. My name is Fernando Cabrera, and I am the chair of the Committee on Governmental Operations. We've been joined by my colleagues and members of the committee, uh, Councilmember Yeager, Councilmember Marcel, Kalos, Kud, Diaz, Power, Rodriguez, and Perkins. Today, the committee will be voting on three pieces of legislation. Two of the bills relate to the city's 311 service. As I have said many times before, 311 is a critical tool as it helps ensure that city government is responsive to the concerns of average New Yorkers. There is a pothole that needs repair, or a fallen tree that needs to be removed. New Yorkers know that they can call 311 to get the issue resolved. Just two weeks ago, this committee advanced several important bills designed to improve the 311 system. Today, we build on, we build on that work by voting on two more vital pieces of 311 legislation. Introduction number 1525B, sponsored by Councilmember Ku, will require 311 to conduct at least five customer satisfaction service per year. This service will be conducted in English and each, and each of the top 10 languages spoken by New Yorkers with limited English proficiency. Introduction number 1838, sponsored by Councilmember Ayala, will require 311 to post each agency service level agreement on the open data portal with a link to them on the 311 website. Service level agreements are commitments that agencies make to respond to a particular type of service request within a certain time frame. This bill will make the 311 customer service process more transparent by requiring these commitments to be published online. In addition, the committee will also be voting on introduction number 374A, sponsored by Council Member Justin Brennan, which will disqualify individuals who have been convicted of certain felony related to public corruption and depriving the public of honest services from holding the office of mayor, public advocate, controller, board president, or council member. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my colleagues for uh, joining today's vote. And to the committee staff, committee council, CJ Murray, senior policy, policy analyst, Emily Forjong, and Elizabeth Cronk, senior finance analyst, Sebastian Bacci, and to my communication legislative director, Claire McLevain. At uh, this moment, I would like to invite Councilmember Koo to give a statement on his bill. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Chair Cabrera. Uh, today, we are voting on my bill, uh, 1525B, to require 311 to conduct five annual customer satisfaction surveys in the 10 most commonly spoken languages in New York City. The bill also requires an annual report be filed by the mayor's office of operations based on the results of those surveys. I introduced this bill after an oversight hearing two years ago, where the city total very high satisfaction from its customer surveys. Those surveys, however, were only conducted in English. Chinese, Korean, and Bengali New Yorkers couldn't voice their opinions because they were never surveyed or contacted in their languages, in their own languages. Residents of our city speak hundreds of languages, and for far too long, they have been cut out from our city's main source of government information and on emergency services. Conducting 311 surveys in multiple languages will help 311 identify 
ways in which it can better serve our residents, especially our immigrant New Yorkers. This bill will close the gap for immigrant serve New Yorkers are heard. Thank you, Speaker Johnson, Chair Cabrera, Jason Goldman, Jeff Baker, Laura Popper, CJ Murray, Elizabeth Kwong, Emily Fogon, Andrew Sun, Audrey Sun, and my former technology committee team. Thank you very much. Hope, uh, my colleagues will support the bill. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, uh, Council Member Peter Ku, and thank you for your, your leadership on this bill. This is a, a really good bill, and I really appreciate it. And so with that, I will ask the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call, vote, Committee on Governmental Operations Introductions, 374A, 1525B, and 1830A, all items are coupled. Chair Cabrera. I abstain on intro 374A, and I vote I on the rest. Okay. Rodriguez. Captain my Rodriguez, you're muted. I vote I. Thank you. Levin. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Kalos. Aye on all. Mizell. Councilmember Mizell, I believe you're muted. Yes. Thank you. Perkins. Go again. Aye on all. Thank you. Powers. Aye on all. Jaeger. Aye. Councilmember Dharma Diaz. Aye on all. Uh, Today's vote. Introductions 1525B and 1830A have been adopted by the committee with a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. With intro 374A also being adopted by the committee with a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. Thank you. Uh, I believe Councilman Barry is trying to, is she trying to say something? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, yes, Councilmember Baring, you like to say something? Sir, I believe her signal is breaking up. Okay. All righty. So with that, I know we have more uh, votes uh, taking place. So with that, uh, we conclude uh, this vote. Thank you. Thank you. I vote aye.